Hey guys, Big Red 3 Tan here again. I'm not putting on my hands for a reason, you'll see later. First off, I want to plug uh, J South 314. <clears throat> Apparently, he used to be really. I don't, I don't know if he was big, but I know he made a lot of videos. He used to make videos back, I think, 2007. I know that Chase and ECW Hardcore 7 were both subscribed to him. And I started watching his videos recently. He's really good, really intelligent. Uh, <clears throat> you can tell that he has such great knowledge for the business. And I really, th I think he's a really smart guy. You know, he's coming back on a new. I think it's on a new account. So I just want to get him his old subs back, however I can, even though I wasn't around back then. But for those who were there, please sub to J One South three three one four. All right. So, um, <clears throat> also ROH is having a huge, a huge. DVD sale. Now I know I told you I wasn't going to be buying old ROH reviews, but I really didn't expect this. It's 50% off. 50% off. This is t the biggest sale they've ever run. I'm not kidding. Black Friday last year, it was from 40% to 50%, but to get 50%, you have to spend over $100. So yes, technically this is the biggest sale they've ever run, ever in their history. 50% off. It's like Big Ten, but you can get anything. Well, this is what I don't like about it. You can't get any of the pre-orders. And I really wanted to get the, the other Phoenix show, which I have not pre-ordered yet. And I wanted to get the You Shoot interview with Jim Cornette. That's sold out. I wanted to get Turning Point. That's sold out. I wanted to get the Heart and Soul DVD. That's sold out. So I'll tell you what I got. I got Back to Basics and Stalemate. Two 2005 shows, because 2005 is my second favorite year. Um, Battle of St. Paul and Domination, 2007 shows, because 2007 is my favorite year. Uh, Chicago Spectacular Night 2, because that was a good show. I got Wrestling with the Shadows, which I've never seen. And this is a 10th anniversary collection with the Life of, Life of Owen Hart DVD included. Um, I got Guest Booker with Raven, which is rebooking Hall and Nash and ECW. I wanted to get Jim Cornette, but that was sold out. <clears throat> and it's Raven. Raven has a great mind for the business, so I just picked him. And I picked PWG All-Star Extravaganza 6 Night 1 with that famous Brian Anderson low-key match, which I have never seen before. So yeah, 50% <clears throat> off. Uh, with shipping, I think I spent like 85 bucks, which I had, I had kind of, I'm running low, unfortunately. Again, <sighs> so, and I really, I really want to get the Dayton Chicago show and I really want to get King of Trios, but after that, I'm kind of going to be stagnant. I don't think I'm going to buy as the warm turns. Okay. <clears throat> Now, even though I took, I took, I showed my hand a little bit, just got to do the plug and I use my hands a lot. There's a reason why I didn't show it in the beginning because I am wearing boxing gloves, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, boxing gloves. I'm wearing these gloves because I know I'm about to get into a war again. So I'm getting ready to fight. I'm getting into a war with those TNA marks. Also, I really want these gloves to be in uh, the the still picture that uploads on your YouTube. If it's not, I'm gonna be really disappointed. So I'm gonna try to hold them up as much as I can. Oh, sorry about that. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm going to get in a fight with TNA Marks because I'm making a very controversial video, ladies and gentlemen. Christopher Daniels is overrated. Okay. Let me say my argument before you go type, type, type in the comments because every fucking video, when I say something controversial, you guys don't listen. You type in the comments and I end up having to repeat myself. Again, I love my subscribers, but on that last video I made, turn him face, turn him heel, I got a million comments on Jack Swagger, and I specifically said in the video that he's not a bad heel. He's actually a pretty good heel. All I said was, booking him the way they have been now, with him going against Orton and him going against a big giant, it would have been, it would have looked better if he was face. I put question marks next to his name for a reason. You guys don't listen to me. Motor City Machine Guns, I made a mistake. I'll admit it. I didn't know they were full faces, but I'm just going to leave it on there. Why not? Because I, I talked about it a lot in the video. So, yes. I'm going to say this. Listen to my point on why Christopher Daniels is, I think is overrated. Overrated does not mean that just because someone is great, someone is viewed as great, and I think he's only okay. Or I think he's bad. No. People have this tendency to view overrated as being someone who's a, someone who is looking amazing in reality you think he's bad or you think he sucks no overrated could mean that people are giving him too much praise than he deserves that's it that's it now let me also say i like christopher daniels i think he's very fluid in the ring i really like watching his matches because i think that he gets he knows how to get the crowd into it i uh he's awesome on the mic he, he knows how to tell a good story in that regard yes he's probably one of the best but when people say, because they said this when he was leaving, that he's 
the best wrestler in TNA, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Christopher Daniels is not the best wrestler in TNA history, which I did hear. Hear me out. Best wrestler in TNA history, I think everyone can agree, is AJ Styles. If not, I think Joe is a close second. Now, Daniels. Here comes the controversy. Christopher Daniels has never, ever had, maybe not in TNA and not in Ring of Honor. Well, I'll talk about that now. Not in TNA, not in Ring of Honor for the most part. A four-star match, singles match, besides AJ Styles. Obviously, AJ Styles is his best opponent. Hell, you can even make the argument that Christopher Daniels is AJ Styles' best opponent. But without AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels has never had a four-star match in Ring of Honor in TNA. He did have possibly the second-best match in TNA history with Elix Skipper against uh, AMW in the cage, which is a great match. But I'm just saying, by himself, and I'm not even going to mention his, his matches with Joe. I think all their matches are overrated. Every single one. Their match at No Surrender, I thought was good. Their match at Final Resolution, I think, is way overrated. I think it's good, okay. I don't think it's really that great. It was more to set up the storyline. <clears throat> His match with Joe at, on Impact was very good, but not great. His match, is, his match with Joe against Vendetta, again, good, not great. Now the Grudges 2, again, good, not great. Whenever he has singles matches, they never really come off as good as they probably should. Like I'm talking like his matches with Elix Skipper, Samoa Joe, Amazing Red, Jerry Lynn, just name a few off the top of my head, Jay Lethal. Really, all of his matches on every card I see is almost can almost be a guaranteed three and a quarter, three and a half star match, but you're never ever going to get that four star level. He did, he did have the best match in TNA history, a five star match, but you kind of had three guys in there. And I really love what Doc Pepper Classic said. Um, the triple threat matches these days are kind of like a singles match with a revolving door. And AJ Styles was in there, his best opponent. And Joe, his probably second best opponent. Uh, so, again, I do think he's great. I do think he's very good. I just think, you know, when people say he's the best wrestler in TNA history, uh, I don't really believe you on that. He's never had a four-star singles match, ever, besides without AJ Styles. And <clears throat> some also call him the king of the indies. Maybe in 2002. Now, I honestly, no. No. In Ring of Honor, he did have a, a great match with CM Punk, I thought. But they were given 60 minutes. That's kind of not fair. And really, the first 40 minutes were kind of nothing. Mostly due to him and how he wrestles. Okay. He always wrestles, you know. Like, <clears throat> in the beginning stages of every match he's in, he always wrestles a pretty, a pretty I'm not going to say a fast-paced style, but, you know, the part of the, the beginning of the match that people really don't like, that people are slow to get into, he's very good. And that's why he's so good. But there are many matches where he just kind of stays at that pace. And he never really elevates it to the next level. That's the problem. He has had another great match in Ring of Honor, and that was with Brian Danielson. But Jesus fucking Christ, it is Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson had a four star match with Delirious. Brian Danielson had a four star match with Steve fucking Carino after 2003. So, yes, he is very good. Overall, he's probably better than AJ Styles. If you include uh, Mike Work, uh, character, the uh, ring presence, all that. He's probably better than AJ Styles. Gimmick, that too. I'm just saying, in the ring, I think he's a little overrated. I'm sorry. He's not as good as the high pedestal. The really high pedestal. And again, oh, damn it. I, that off. I am putting on these gloves for a reason. Because I know that there's going to be some comment wars, and I want you guys to listen to what I said. Name a match. Go ahead. Name me a great, awesome match. He had a good match with Cornell on Impact, but again, not in my opinion. So yeah. TNA marks, can bring it. But seriously, I just don't think. I just think that in the ring, like I said, he's really he's good. He he can even be considered great. But he, <clears throat> he's very good at getting a crowd into a match. And I think sometimes he stays at that pace for the whole match. This has been the case several several times in Ring of Honor. Many 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 times. People say he was holding back. I wouldn't really say he's holding back. I just think that's how he kind of wrestles his matches. You can, you're guaranteed a good match with Daniels in the match, but. Now, as far as tag team wrestling goes, he had great matches with AJ. He had great matches with Elix Skipper. But with help, you know, with tag team wrestling, you kind of have another person to help elevate that pace. And you join with them in that pace. And you have a very, very good match. Like I said, he's still great. But I just, just think he's a little overrated. Okay, that was my video. I am Big Rat. 3, 10. Ready for war. Hi, right, guys. See ya.
Make sure to subscribe to JSAL314. Click that subscribe. Go to click that link. Click that subscribe button right now. JSAL314. Hey guys. Oh, actually, it's, it's down here. What am I saying? Down here. JSAL314. All right, guys. And check out the 50% off sale. They have Ring of Honor, PWG, WWE, TNA. They have a whole lot of crap. It's 50% off. So give it a shot. You have to type 50 in the discount box. I'll give, I'll put a link with the instructions. Bye.